Welcome to Body Balance, starting in about, I think, three minutes. Um, my name's Christine and it's a 45 minute class, Les Mill programme, so a continuous programme. Um, for those who haven't done Body Balance before, it's a mixture of Tai Chi, Yoga and Pilates. And for those who have done it before, a lot of this we've already done. Um, but today we're going to start with a nice gentle yoga warm-up rather than our Tai Chi. So just something slightly different, just to sort of warm up the whole body, encourage your breathing um, and just get ourselves ready to progress through the programme. I'll just check the time. So make sure that you've got some water and make sure you're doing this on a steady surface. So if you're on a wooden floor, make sure you've got a mat down so your feet don't slip. Even sometimes on a carpet, your feet can slide. So if I always think, I would always recommend that you do it on a mat. And your bare feet so you feel the energy come through the floor. But if you prefer, you can keep your socks on. It's up to you. Okay. And remember, there's loads of different options in body balance. It doesn't matter how flexible you are. The whole point of this programme is to make you a bit more flexible. Hi, Donny. Good afternoon. Not a very nice afternoon, well, not a nice day at all today. It's just rained all day. Hopefully the weather's going to get better. So I'll just check the time. A couple of minutes left. So yeah, it's for the options. Just choose whichever option feels good for your body. Make sure you're in no pain. If you feel any twinge, just pull it back and um, take a lower option or just make your range of movement come in. <laughs> okay. And if you need to have a drink of water or take a water break, just take a break at any time that you need to. So we've just got under a minute left, so we'll just wait and see if we've got any more people joining us. So we don't start too early and then we'll get moving. Week 15 of lockdown. Week 15, I can't believe it's week 15. So hopefully I'll soon see you all back in the gym. Can't wait for the first class back in the gym. Okay, that's five o'clock. So let's get started. If you feel the music's too loud or you can't hear me, do something, wave or put a comment up and I'll try and come over and read it so that I can adjust whatever I need to adjust. So I'm gonna put the music up slightly here just so we can get the the volume right. Hopefully you can hear it nicely. The music's amazing on the set. So we're going to start with our yoga warm-up. So we're going to start in child's pose on your mat. So let's come back to your mat and just come down. So we're just going to very gently start to warm up our body. You can have your knees wherever you want. They can be hip width, they can be as wide as the mat. You can bring your big toes together. All I want you to do is push your hips back down and just settle back into child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the mat and stretch out your arms and feel the stretch through your shoulders. And just breathe. Push the palms of your hand into the floor so you can push your hips back to your heels. And start to encourage your breathing here. Good. We're going to bring ourselves forward. And then we're going to bring ourselves back down. We're going to do that again. So bring yourself forward, extending the horse stance or a modified plant and then bring yourself down. Let's try this again. Just make sure your wrists are under your shoulders for stability and then come back. Once more here, 
just face you. You keep facing the same way. So we're going to be down here, midway through the track, I'll come back up for our sequence. So let's move into our flat back. Good. And then from here, forward fold. And from here, we're going to do a back bend. So the next back bend here. Good. Take the arms behind, clasp, and pull the shoulder blades down and back. Take your gaze up high. Good. And then let's move over to the side. So a nice side bend. Big deep breath in. On the exhale, go a bit further. Other side. Big deep breath in, and then on the exhale, go a bit further. Good. Let's repeat all of that from the top. So extend that mountain pose. Good. And then take a nice back bend here. Take your gaze up high, push the chest out, and then the hands come down and clasp behind. Pull your shoulder blades back and down. Good. Then we do our side bend over. Take a big deep breath. Good. Other side. Back to the top. And then we're going to come down through the midline, bending these loads here. Come to a forward fold. Feels good. Lift up. Thumbs come together, we come down through the midline, forward fold. Now I'm going to just take myself to the top of the mat. We're going to do it again. Forward fold. And then move into a flat back here. Feels good. Push the hips up and then forward fold. Let's take a step back to plank. First plank here, make sure your wrists are under your shoulders, drop your knees here, and then come down, crocodile, and then down into baby cobra here. And we're going to start our sequence, so turn your toes, down dog, and then walk your feet into your hands, forward fold and move into a flat back here. Stand here and then forward fold. Tuck in the chin, nice flat back. Make 
make sure our hips are going up to the ceiling. Then we're going to come down and we're going to step back to plank. Now remember, we can drop our knees or stay here and come all the way down and move into up dog. So just breathe. Good. Down dog. We're going to walk our feet back in. to drop to your knee or stay here, roll down and then move into up dog, squeeze the glutes here, good. So we're going to put in some more advanced options as we come in, from here down dog, take a little spring and see if you can spring your feet to your hands, come up, lift. Now this time we're going to take our flat back, we can stay here, or if we want more, we can lift our palms up, trying to keep the back straight and the legs straight. Forward fold. Take a step back. Nice plank position. Drop the knees if you need to. Come down as one unit here and then move straight into your up dog. Squeeze. Just breathe. Let's do this again. Bend your knees, get a nice spring, and then lift your feet in. Unfold. Good. Come down. Flat back. Here or here. Shoes. This is such a strong pose here. So if you prefer here, just stay here. Come down. Take a step back. Wrist up on the hand. Wrist on the shoulders. Come down and then move straight into up dog. And just breathe. Good. Take your feet back. Down dog. Stay here. Nice work. Drop your knees. Take them a bit wide. And we're going to move into child's pose. So come back, push your hips back down. We're going to do a couple of striking cobras here. So from here, you're going to bring your chest through and just move, stay here if that's enough, or come straight up, bring the legs off. Then take it back. Let's try this again. So bring it through, take the elbows wide, move through, and then lift. Bring it back. Good. Can we do one more? Squeeze the glutes. Lift up here, squeeze the glutes. And take it back. Just breathe. Take that front leg, bring it through. Bring the hands, keep the hands inside here. So, we're going to try and get some movement going in our hip. So while we're here, just move your hip from side to side. Start to feel the stretch here. Bring your hand on your knee, push yourself up, and then bring the arms up. So we're going to keep this here with the knee down, but if you already want more, you can then, keeping your hand on your knee, you can lift that back knee up, and then lift up. Consolidate if you want, so bring the knee down, find your stability through your hips. Good, hand comes down. Switch the legs, take it round. So again, we're going to start off on our knee, hands to the inside of the feet, or the foot, and just move your hips here. So make sure you're nice and stable. 
bring your hand up onto your knee, lift that back knee up, and when you're ready, come back on. So we're going to make sure that we're stable through the lower body, and we're going to lift. Now you might want to come up a bit further and then sink down. So feel your strength here and just breathe. Good. Let's do it again. Take it back. Back to the front leg. So this time we're going to start, if we can, with our knee up. Still moving through the hip. So just move from side to side. Just to open up here. When you're ready, find your balance. Hand comes on the knee and the thigh, and we push ourselves up. Good. Big deep breath. Find your stability, find your balance, then lift up. Breathe. Take a big, big, big deep breath in. I can't speak. And then as you breathe out, bring it down. We've got one more to do on the other side. Drop hands. Bring it round. Opposite leg comes in. Lift that back knee if you can and start to just rotate through your spine here. How does it feel? Make it feel good. Good. Bring one hand on that thigh, join it with the other. Once you feel that you're comfortable, move into your lunge. Drop here, square the hips, squeeze the glutes, lift the arm, big deep breath in, and then you come down. Just breathe, such a strong pose. Good. Come up. Move yourself into a low squat, so I'll come and face you. A little bit diagonal to the side come down. So from here, this might be enough, you might not want any more, or you might want to come down. So let's come down a bit more here, or all the way down, feet still flat if you can, and just bring the hips right down. Elbows on the inside of the knees, and press the knees out, see what it feels like. Good. And just rotate yourself again from your hips side to side. See what it's like. Anyone who can do bird pose can go into bird pose now. Good. If not, you can stay here with me, or if you'd rather be up a bit higher, come up a bit higher. Good. We're going to drop the hands, lift ourselves up, take our legs wide, and then sink down. So our, everything's at 90-90. So nice and wide, bring the hands to the midline, lift the hands up high, sink a bit further and feel the strength and the power in your legs. Oh, just breathe. Good. <laughs> oh, it's a strong pose. Shake it off. Still standing strength here. We're going to move into our warrior two. So we've got a bit of time. Take our feet nice and wide. One foot points out to the side. Once we feel in position, drive that knee over. So take, make sure you've got your balance. Bring the hips back round, press the knee out. Hands come out. From here, back hand, palm faces up and we move that body over, just the upper body, we keep the knee over the ankle and we just breathe, good, power down through that back leg, let's extend that warrior over, so come down, this may be enough here, you may want to come down a bit further and you may wish to just raise your heel, so choose, if it feels good and you want a more advanced option, lift up and square that body back round. Good. Let's try the other side. So just gently rotate your feet round. Set yourself back up. So drive that other knee over the ankle. 
Pedal down to the back leg. Bring the arms in. So with your extended leg, same side, palm faces up. And we reach over. So we're only reaching over that upper body, but we'll sink a bit deeper so we can try. So we reach across. Such a strong pose here and it requires a lot of strength. Let's do our extended wire. Bring it over. Again, we may wish to just stay here. Maybe we want to go all the way down or come up onto your toes. Just choose. Do whatever feels good for you. Good. Just breathe. Let's bring our feet together. Take a big, quick body stretch. Feels good? Let's move into our balance. So I know that lots of you like your tree pose. We're going to just start extended mountain pose. Coming up onto our toes. Just breathe. Good. And then we're going to release. So quickly shift your weight over to your standing leg and decide where you're going to position. Your foot can be here, here, below the knee, or anywhere on the inside of the standing leg. And just focus. Take your gaze to the floor and find your balance. Press the palms of your hands together. Now if we want to do a bit more, let's release one hand to the side for balance. We can stay here or we can hook our hand under our thigh, keeping your gaze low, open that hip, point these toes and just breathe. Good. Drop your foot. Let's do this from the top. Reach up and then come up onto your toes. Feels good. side shift that weight over once you feel comfortable decide where you're going to put your foot anywhere on the inside of the standing leg palms of the hand go together hip opens nicely here and we just focus big deep breath in and as we release that breath we move we can stay here or if we want more we can reach down Point your toes and just open the hips here. Good. So we've got one more move. We're going to do our dancer's pose. So I'll come to the side. You should stay where you are and bring your leg far back. You can stay here to get a stretch or you can take your hand forward. A nice little bend in the standing leg and just Good. Release. Let's try this on the other side. So remember, you can hold on to the wall if you need to. You can stay here if this is enough. Or you can try and go forward. Gaze is low. Pull the knee behind. That's a little bend in the standing leg. And just move. come down to the mat. Okay, so let's come down here first and just bring the soles of your feet together anywhere that's comfortable. It could be out here, it could be closer. Just do what you feel is good for you. Take your hands, palms wide, your fingers wide and just bring them to the back. Chest up. Push the knees towards the floor. Now you might prefer to come on your fingertips, you might feel better, or on the full palms of your hands. So just you choose. Good. So let's move into modified half lifts. So bring your foot in and bring the other one in too. 
Now remember, sit bones go back, get yourself nice and comfortable. If you can, you can take that front foot, place it on your thigh or on your calf, whatever's comfy for you. If you want to just do a passive stretch, just bring your hands in front. You could already feel the stretch. If you want a <laughs> good. So make sure you've got a nice straight spine and that your body is nice and turned and you can feel the stretch through your spine. Good. Hopefully that feels okay. Good. We're going to do that all over again. So let's release the feet and the leg. Bring the soles of your feet together. And again, bring your hands behind. Fingertips or palms, you choose whatever feels good for you. Press your knees to the floor and start to feel the stretch right in your inner hips here. So right through your hip flexors. It feels really nice. Lift your chest up and just enjoy, start to breathe. Feels good. Good. We're going to do the same, but on the other side. So we're going to bring the opposite leg in first, and then the other leg to the outside, or calf, or thigh, whatever feels good. Just get your position, make sure your sit bones are back. And again, just decide where you want to push your hand. So you might be here, and you can already feel the stretch through the hips. It feels nice actually here. But if you want slightly more, bring your elbows to the insides of your knees, and at the same time, press your knees to the floor, and press your, press your elbows to the floor, and press your knees into your elbows, so you're fighting against each other. There's a resistance there. And as you do this for a few seconds, and then release gently, we're just going to try that once more. So a big deep breath in and push. So push against each other. Feels good. And then release. You can really feel the stretch. So we're just going to do our twist to finish. So the hand comes behind. The opposite hand to the front leg just comes over. We straighten our spine. Big deep breath in. And on that out breath, just rotate around. Feels good. Yes. Good. So we're going to release here. Release the legs. Bring them around. And let's come into a frog pose. So knees are wide. Go as wide as you can. And it doesn't matter how wide you are. Make sure that your ankles are in line with your knees. Come down. That feels so good. And now if you want something else, bring your big toes together and push your hips back. What a beautiful stretch here. So really press your hips all the way back. Feels good. Let's try that again. So come up, release the big toes. Bring your ankles back in line. Remember, you can be here. If this feels better for you, just come up here. Choose your option. Or come down here. Or you can even come all the way down. Push your hips back. And then just to finish off, big toes come back in. And let's push our hips right down to our heels here. See what it feels like? Feels good. Good. Just hold it here. Feels nice. Take a big deep breath in. Bring yourself back up. And bring your knees back in. Nice and gentle here. And let's move into our core. So we've done this core a few times. So we know what we are doing here. We're going to start off in a hover position. So make sure that your elbows are under your shoulders. And we're just doing a nice, simple knee drop here. Just take it nice and easy. If you want an option here, you can have your knees down, 
and do it the other way. Good. You choose, and you can do both options, whatever feels good for you. So now we're going to move into our side hover. So bring your body right and left. Lift that hip off the floor if you can. If it doesn't feel good for you, drop your knee. Or you can lift your leg. We're going to do that on the other side. So bring yourself through the centre. Bring yourself round. Lift. Feel the stretch. Good. And then bring yourself back to the front. Wherever you want to be. Make sure your hips are low and just knee. So remember, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice and strong. Good. Feels good? Nice work. We're going to move back into our side hover. So bring yourself around. Hold nice and tall and strong. Pull the hip up. Breathe. Good. We're going to take this to the other side. So gently come back to the centre. Lift it round. Remember the options. Lift here. Just breathe. Good. Bring it down. Quickly bring yourself round onto your back. So remember here, we're going to bring our knees over our hips, hands down by our side, extend our legs, and we're going to do a quick knee drop. Drop, slide, lift. Drop, slide, good. Just breathe. Drop quickly, push out, lift. Good. Drop. Feel your core work. Push it out, lift, drop. Good. One more. Drop. And this time, feet come down to the mat. And let's move into, still staying with the core, bring our knees up over our hips, bring our big toes together, or our feet together, and open our knees. Big deep breath. You need to want to take some water here. We're going to just come up through the knees towards your feet. So remember, when you come up, you exhale. So exhale here. Good, and just breathe. Nice and easy. Good. So we're going to come up nice and quick. Lift, and then extend back. Good, we're going to do that again. So we're going to come up quick, reach, and then slowly extend. And now we're going to pulse for three. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Breathe. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stay with me. Two. Your core must be on fire. Good. Bring these fingers to your toes. Good. We're just going to tap. So this feels better. Not better, easier. <laughs> so we're just tapping here. If you want it to make it a bit harder, you can tap further away. Good. And then we can extend our leg. Feels good. Brace that core. Lower back, rest into the mat. Let's go a bit quicker. So just tap and tap wherever you can feel the challenge. So if you need to tap further away, tap further away but lower to the floor. Good. We're going to bring ourselves up. Here. 
the shoulders off the mat and just breathe. Good. Feels good. Here. Knees over hips. Lift your hips up. So lift. Bring your knees as if your knees are going up to the ceiling. Feel the lower abs stretch. Good. We're going to take our hands behind our thighs. Bring ourselves all the way around. And we're going to come into our firefly. So we're going to move into plank first. And then we're just going to go back into firefly. Go down. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Just breathe. Good. Bring that knee close to your elbow. Push your hips down. Come forward. Good. Feels good. Slightly faster. Good. Just breathe here. Squeeze the hips back. Feels good. So from here, a little jump. Breathe. Jump. Good. Just a little hop. Feels good. One more. Good. Bring your knees down. Quickly go back. We're going to finish off with our cross crawl here. So come down. And it's with the tap here. Tap. Good. So bring the shoulders off the mat and just breathe. Let's extend. Good. Faster. Bring your shoulders up. Raise your core. Good. Stay with it. If it's too much, drop your shoulders and just do your legs. Just breathe. If you're okay with it, hands to temples. And breathe. Bring it down. Knees over hips. Lift. So the same here. Press the knees up. Good. One more. Oh, how does that feel? Good. Bring yourself up and round onto your knees. We're going to work our back. Knees hip width. Come up. Push the hips out. This feels great on your lower back. If you want to stay here, you can stay here. If you want a bit more, lift up and reach back to your heel. And then you can do opposite hand or you can do both together. Whatever feels good for you. Good. Release. Come down to our hands and knees. Take it to the side and roll that down. Feels good. Stay with this here. Squeeze out to the side. Good. Again. Good. Push to the side. Bring it down. Nice work. Good. We're going to come down onto our back. We're going to move into bridge. So bring your heels closer to your glutes. And let's start to lift the hips off the floor. Come up onto your shoulders. Hands come down, and we'll do a little knee lift. 
Good. Again, make sure the hips stay up. Feels good. Squeeze these glutes. Good. We're going to do a bit of this the next time too. Again. Point. Push the hips up. And breathe. Good. Nearly there. Once more. Good. And slowly release the hips back to the floor. And then when you're ready, just bring your knees in or up. Bring your hands nice and wide, shoulder, shoulder height. And then gently drop your knees to the floor. So your breathing's still fast, it's going to slow down here, getting ready for um, relaxation. Got some nice spinal strength here. So we can stay here, but if we want a bit more, take your head the opposite way and look down your back now. And take your top leg and just extend it out. And just breathe. Now you can keep it away from the floor, or you can try and lower it down. Wherever you take your leg, make sure your shoulder stays on the floor. So if your shoulder lifts up, lift your leg a bit more. If it's all right, let it drop down. Just breathe. back into your centre position, lift up the knees, close them together and gently drop them onto the other side. So remember, you might just want to be here and this might feel good, or you may want to take your eye gaze down that extended opposite arm and stay here. Or if you want a bit more, you might want to extend that top leg in and go as far as you can without the shoulder coming off the floor. As soon as the shoulder lifts, bring that leg back a bit. Make sure your shoulders stay anchored to the floor. And just breathe. So you should be feeling the stretch all the way down your IT band, right on the outside. From the hip, all the way down through the thigh, down to your calf. Feels good. Good. So gently bring that knee back in. We're going to move back into our bridge position. So we're going to bring our hands down, bring our feet back to our glutes. But this time we're just going to slowly lift the hips and then start to feel your spine lift off the floor, one vertebrae at a time, until you're on your shoulders. And I just want you to squeeze here. So squeeze these glutes up to the ceiling and just hold. Just for a few seconds more. And then when you're ready, slowly let your spine come back and make contact with the floor. Release your feet and move yourself into a nice, comfortable position. So you can stay where you are or where you've ended up, or if you want to shift your body around, you can. You can come up to a seated position. If you're pregnant, you can lie on your side or sit, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're just gonna bring our breathing right down now and just relax, just for about five minutes. Just bring your arms down by the side of your body. Or you may want to rest them on your belly and feel your breathing. Just do whatever's comfortable for you. 
Just take a little bit of movement in your body so you can settle and become heavy and relaxed. Take a big breath in. And as you start to exhale, just find your stillness. Close your eyes and give the entire weight of your body to the floor and just let it go. Start to follow your breath. Follow the in-breath through your nose and just follow the out-breath through your mouth. So let's start to come down through your body, starting at the top of your head, come down into your forehead, move down into your jaw and gently unclench your jaw. Move into your shoulders and then come down all the way down your arms, past your elbows, into your wrists, gently roll through your wrists, move into your fingers and just let them completely relax. And then take your attention and feel the energy around your heart. And take that energy and move down through your belly, into your hips, down into your legs, and through to your feet. Just notice your entire body and how still it is and how quiet your breath is. And if your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to the rise and fall of each breath. Feel how your tummy rises and falls with each breath in and each breath out. Feel the sound of your heartbeat and the stillness of your body. And wherever you are, just hold that focus of keeping your body relaxed and quiet. And just let your mind relax a bit deeper and let's just be just for a few more moments relaxation starts to come to an end, slowly start to come back to yourself. Maybe get a little movement and feeling back in your hands and your feet and then gently stretch out your body, keeping your back nice and flat on the floor. Extend your legs out as far as they'll go and extend your arms overhead and just breathe in deeply here and just hold that position just for a few seconds. It feels so good. And when you're ready, just bring your knees to your chest and just hug them for a few seconds. And keeping your eyes closed, gently roll on to one side and just push yourself back up into a seated position. And we're just going to do a little stretch through the neck. So just take your, your chin to your shoulder, feel the stretch through the side of the neck, then gently move your head to the other side. Feels good back to the centre, lift the arms up nice and high, palms come together and bring it all down through the midline, just let them relax wherever they fall and you can open your eyes and welcome back and thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the class. There was a few different numbers there at the beginning so once we do that every week we'll get um, really good at it. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a good rest of the evening and a good week and I'll hopefully see you next week same time same place take care see you later bye, -bye.